If they ain't got it, I'ma mask up and take it. 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 What is going on guys, AJ Good here at the House of Masks. This is going to be a special video. I'm pretty excited. Some shit has hit the fans over the past couple days and who doesn't love drama so I uh, just wanted to make kind of a review video. But before I get into that, um, I need to explain a little bit about what's going on for anybody that doesn't know. So like a year or two ago, I don't remember exactly when I made the video but it was definitely over a year ago, I made a buyer beware video about Tyler Holiday because here's the facts. He took a lot of people's money thousands and thousands of dollars. He did not deliver products. Thousands and thousands of dollars worth of products were not delivered and still aren't. Two years later, two years after he took people's money, people still don't have their masks. The people that did get their masks, I don't want to say all of them because I don't think it was all of them, but a good portion of them got shitty masks. If you want to watch the video, you can go watch it. I provide screen caps, photos, uh, customer testimonials, just anything you can think of, just proof that he is not a good person to do business with. Now, Things went silent for a little bit between me and Tyler because it was over. I busted him out and that's pretty much it. And then all of a sudden, a couple days ago, he started using the hashtag fuck AJ good. So fucking edgy. And posting some stuff about me on Instagram for whatever reason. Like, I don't know, because your other masks aren't selling because you're not as good of an artist as you think you are. I don't know. And uh, then out of nowhere, he makes these YouTube confessional videos where he responds to my scammer warning video. And it's just batshit crazy stuff. Like, I'm not even mad at the guy anymore. I just want him to get some mental health because he looks severely schizophrenic or just fucking batshit crazy. It's really sad that he took the videos down or I would link you guys to them that they're just real weird, super weird. Trying to say that anyone that has made any of the Slipknot replicas that he's made since he made them is just copying him, which doesn't make sense because those weren't his original designs. He was just replicating anyways. But anyways, all this stuff happens. Now he's saying he's retiring from the Slipknot mask and jumpsuits community, which it kind of seems like he retired two years ago when he stopped giving people their stuff, but whatever. So all this stuff happens. Uh, then I start getting fake Instagram profiles commenting on my stuff, saying all kinds of shit about how I'm a talentless piece of shit and a mediocre tattoo artist and blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, whatever, I just kind of ignore it and block those fake profiles and stuff. Tyler, of course, tries to deny that, but whatever. So then this guy, Charles Barker, comes into the picture. This is another batshit crazy dude this guy's from Australia. Only history I have with him is that a couple years ago, he added me because he saw my mask collection. He had an original Ghost Glow that I tried to buy from him and he was not interested in selling. Then I realized what he was doing with the masks and uh, he calls it garage arts, but in reality, it's just him ruining a bunch of masks. Really, really shitty stuff. Just fucking ugly. I feel really bad for anybody that thinks it's cool, but whatever, it's none of my business. So anyways, he comes into the picture now and he made this video about me which I think is hilarious so basically I'm just going to watch the video with you guys I haven't finished the video all the way through I'm only like five or six minutes in and uh, I'm just gonna talk about the video so let's get right into it here is Charles Barker's AJ Good video yeah, good morning viewers or good afternoon wherever it may be even nighttime wherever you are I hope you're all happy and healthy eating well got a nice bed to sleep in just thought I'd uh, say a quick word today. I'm trying to phrase it nicely. I'm trying to be polite and diplomatic. Because we do have a lot of snowflakes who are easily offended by a simple wording or a picture or a colour they don't see. Let's stop it right there and just bring up the fact that he's already used the word snowflake. We are 34 seconds into the video and he has already used the word snowflake. So it's going to be one of those types of videos. I watched a few of these DVDs lately. Why are we talking about DVDs? What in the actual fuck does that have to do with anything? I've got some DVDs here. I've got uh, Hostel, The Fog, Cops, and Evil Dead. So um, now that we have that established, let's... Do something mask related, I, I don't know. You know, we've got the AJ Good there. We've got the Tyler Holiday, one corner. We've got AJ in another corner. And basically any other AJ artist that hasn't given him a free mask, he's also in the Holiday corner. Any other AJ artist that hasn't given him a free mask. What? And it's bells on, you know. Round one, round two, here we go, right? You little fucking turds. Like, seriously, you fucking maggot fucking turds. How fucking dare you? 
you want to sit on there and you want to make comments and you want to fucking judge people's arts and you want to tell them what they should do and shouldn't do and how they shouldn't run their business and all the rest of it. You fucking turds. <sighs> Listen, maggots. When you contacted Holiday, he told you he was a busy man. He told you he was at college. He told you that he wasn't able to do the masks in time. He told you straight out and fucking there and then before he took your money that he could not do the mask within a period of time. Okay, so Tyler Holiday told people that he was going to not do their masks because you literally just said he couldn't do your masks in time. He told you that he couldn't do your masks in a period of time. What the fuck does that mean? That, that means that any amount of time he couldn't do the masks in and who's gonna sign up for that like no matter how nice the masks are who's gonna say here's my three hundred dollars hope you never finish my mask it doesn't make any fucking sense and that's why the guy was only accepting money orders what the guy didn't just accept money orders because everything that i bought off of him which was three masks uh... they were all paypal they were all paypal and that's not a money order and i think just about everybody that i know that buys off of him uses paypal but Okay. Whatever. His schooling was more important to him. Learning was more important to him. Upgrading his lifestyle for his family was more important to him. Okay, so it's fine that he took your money and didn't give you a product because school is more important to him. So uh, any mask makers out there that don't actually feel like doing the work, um, just take people's money and then go to school because that's more important um, you don't have to worry about giving people what they paid for if you go to school because I mean that's more important and you sent him money in your own greed and your own rush and your own self entitlement okay so you buying a product means that you're a greedy self entitled fuck buying something that was offered for sale pss, no that's fucked up you demanded you wanted the mask straight away it has to be sent now. Holiday made a mistake in offering masks that he didn't have for sale. It's as simple as that. Yeah. But everybody knows Holiday's quality. Everybody knows Holiday's standards. And everybody knows what fucking... To have one of Holiday's masks is like up there in your collection. That's funny because uh, yesterday six Tyler Holiday masks sold. Um, they've all been outdone. Every single one of them. Except for the Iowa Jester. I will say that his rare Jester is uh, uh, pretty much untouchable. I think that's the creme de la creme of that mask. But everything else, like all those replicas have been topped. There's really nothing at this point special about what Tyler makes. It's all replaceable, uh, it's all upgradable. It just is what it is. That's what happens when more people get involved in the hobby. There's nicer stuff out there, and it, for lesser, and you don't have to wait two years. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. It's one of those masks that you don't fucking sell. I sold three yesterday, and I saw three other ones for sale yesterday. That all sold yesterday. Okay, I mean, and if you did sell it, you don't lose anything on it. You're still going to get your three hundred dollars US because he's not cheap to yeah. buy a mask at. Okay, that's true. I got, I got two hundred bucks a piece out of mine. So, so here we have these self-entitled fuckers want to get on there and they want to start talking shit because he's unable to fill the orders which you knew already beforehand that he could not do. I feel like I don't need to stop and make this any clearer, but uh, they paid for a product. And two years later, they either didn't receive it or the one that they received is not what they asked for, so. And you want to have a bitch and a moan and a complain. Instead of leaving the guy alone and letting him do his work and then getting back to you in a month's time, two months time, who in the fuck knows six months time? Who in the fuck knows? The guy's doing a course, he's at school every fucking day. What the fuck you expect him to do? I don't know, like, his job that he was paid for, maybe that, maybe the thing that you paid him for, um, I don't know, that's, that's, maybe that's just me being crazy. I mean, it's fucking disgusting. Yeah, you know? it is fucking disgusting that somebody could take thousands and thousands of dollars from people that probably worked pretty hard for that money, and then just say, fuck them. No, no offense, but you guys are just fucking pathetic little fucking maggots. And I'm really glad I've got nothing to fucking do with you. And I'm really glad that my masks just go to my friends list. They just go onto my friends list, so I put them on eBay, and I have people collecting them. Yeah, we're all really glad that you keep them on your friends list too, because uh, when they look like this, we don't really want anything to do with them. They look like they all want to die. Because I don't have to fucking listen to your bullshit. I don't have to put up with your bullshit. 
And AJ Good, what a fucking self-entitled little fucking dog that guy is. God, me. Look, from an artist point of view, the guy will contact you and ask you for a free mask. And he wants free shipping to go with that mask. Free. Okay? Free. And then when he gets... So to you, he's going to tell you that he's going to do advertising for you and he's going to do sales for you and he's going to do this and this and this for you. What a load of fucking shit. All you've got to do is watch one of these DVDs. I don't have any DVDs, but uh, while we're here, I'm just going to go ahead and say that I have literally never contacted somebody and asked for a free mask. I contacted one company and that was well after I had done dozens and dozens of unboxing slash review videos for independent mask makers. That company was Trick or Treat Studios. You can talk to Justin or Chris Zephyr about that. Uh, and we are going to be bringing you Trick or Treat Tuesdays coming very soon where I unbox a Trick or Treat Studios mask and show you guys that in detail. So it ended up working out when I did ask somebody, didn't it? But anyways, any of the videos that you see where I unbox and review somebody's masks, you can ask those people through the link in the description of those videos if I have asked them to send me that mask for free because it's fucking stupid. I don't do that. Obviously, when you have one of the largest mask followings of mask collectors and mask buyers in the industry, um, it's not gonna be super uncommon for people to approach you and say, hey, look at my product, what do you think of this? Blah, 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 blah. And I have no problem accepting a free mask, and I don't have to make these fucking videos. Nobody really asks for them. But I do it out of the fact that I, one, I enjoy making videos. Two, I'm getting a free mask, so I might as well do something nice for them and try to help boost their sales. Uh, I don't have to make the fucking Instagram posts, and I still do. So feel free to ask any of those guys. You can ask Tony, you can ask Ron, you can ask Joey Romero, Walter, any of them. They're gonna tell you the same fucking thing. Um, I have screen caps, I really don't wanna put them in the video because I don't know if they're comfortable with that, but uh, yeah, like they asked me to do this for them. Totally fine with me. Watch them, guys, okay? He doesn't give reference to the fucking quality that he's got in his hand. I don't give reference to the quality that I have in my hand. He didn't have a whole lot to work with and I think he killed this paint job and it just looks fucking awesome. So I've said it before in a million other videos. Both of these guys are amazing dudes. Very, very helpful. I'm very thankful for both of them. Check that out. I really like the way that looks. Paint wise, it's super accurate. I mean, there's not a lot of photos of this version and the ones that are out there, most of them are black and gray. So yeah, it's super cool. We lost sight of what the actual mask looks like and this thing is pretty fucking close. Tony, I definitely appreciate you sending me a mask to review. It's a beautiful copy. I couldn't be more happy with it. So thank you very, very much. And I hope to see some more stuff from you in the future. Definitely one of the better sculpts I've seen of this mask. Definitely very authentic looking as far as the paint job goes from what I've seen from pictures. It feels like a very solid mask. It's very heavy duty. Thickness is really nice. You're definitely not gonna rip or have any rot problems anytime soon. Sculpt wise, obviously very very accurate. I definitely appreciate you sending me this thing in and I would definitely recommend it to people. So if you guys would like to get one, I will add all of Sam's information down below. Definitely would recommend it for sure. And I will definitely take care of it here at the House of Masks. Notice how all I talked about was how quality the mask was. Weird, right? Doesn't give any fucking thanks really to what he's fucking got in his hand. I definitely appreciate you sending me this thing in. Very thankful for both of them. Tony, I definitely appreciate you sending me a master review. What a fucking dick I am. It's free, okay? F-R-double-E. No fucking money to pay. And you think the cunt's fucking grateful? I mean, look what he got to say. Look, go and have a look at the Ron Sambile fucking DVD. He couldn't even pronounce the guy's name properly. Whenever you guys find that DVD that he's talking about, uh, let me know, because I'd like to see it. I, I don't think I have any DVDs out there, but whatever. Also, yeah, I couldn't fucking pronounce his name right. He's from a different country. I can't pronounce half the fucking Americans' names right. None of the links in his pages work. When you want to click on the link and you want to go to Ron Sambal's page or you want to go to Tony Buck's page, it's not there. All right, hang on. Let's, uh, let's, let's see if that's true. I'm going to set you guys over here. All right, let's just go to my page. Okay, so I'm on my page right now. I just want to take a look and see if what he's saying is true. I'm just pick a random video. Uh, Corey Taylor .5 mask unboxing. <laughs> Mr. Samuel Dean sent me this mask uh, because he wanted me to promote it for him, so let's check it out. Facebook.com slash Sam Haynes Studios. If you copy this, put it in your description. Click on that motherfucker. It's going to take you. Straight to Sam Haynes Studios website. Isn't that fucking weird? Because I could have swore that that 
Mr. Charles Barker just said that my links don't work. And I think what he might be referring to um, is like the Instagram thing, which Instagram isn't a website, it's an app that you use on your cell phone, like made for cell phones. So let's see if I didn't link anybody's Instagram. We've got a Jim Root mask unboxing right here. Let's take a look at it. Oh, the first thing it says, follow Joey on Instagram at After Darkness Productions. And I'm pretty sure somewhere in there I probably said Joey's name a million times. So there's that. Okay, back to the video. You have to actually punch it in. So he does nothing for the person at all. No. All he does is what he's got his hand out. And it's all free. Everything has to be given to him. And I'll tell you guys, if you don't give it to him, then he makes DVDs about you and goes into rooms and starts talking shit about you. Starts telling people not to buy your arts and not support you. I don't make DVDs. I don't make DVDs. I don't make DVDs. And to say that I don't do anything for the people that send me something is, is kind of shitty because um, I feel like I've built a very large network, uh, especially among such a small hobby, um, and I definitely give publicity to said artist. No matter how minute the mask is or whatever, like I definitely give shout outs. Um, sometimes I make entire videos of the unboxing and stuff, so, and Instagram posts or whatever, so you definitely get something out of me making a video, and that's not me trying to suck my own dick. Just saying, worked really hard to get where I am with all of this, and uh, most people see it, but then you've got people with Down syndrome uh, that can't quite figure out how their own language works uh, that try to come up with stuff like that. So, I mean, it is what it is. And not to be there. I mean, no offense, guys, it's fucking pathetic. And uh, he's never got a single mask from me. I've never gotten a mask from you because they fucking suck and I don't want them. And he's demanded, what, two times he's demanded two times for Two times? Masks. I tried to buy a ghost glow, an original ghost glow, which any Slipknot collector obviously wants an original ghost glow, and I already have one downstairs, but I tried to buy one off of him because he had a couple, and he didn't want to sell it to me because he wanted to recast it, and uh, he ended up butchering the shit out of them, which is exactly why I didn't want him to have them, but I definitely offered money. I've asked him a million times to post these screen caps of me demanding masks from him. The actual masks that he make are fucking garbage. You guys will see that in this video because that is what the entire video is. He doesn't show his face, he just wants to show the masks. They fucking suck. So yeah, I tried to buy a ghost glow off you one time and you didn't want to sell it. And it's just not fucking happening. So anyway, I just thought I'd make a quick DVD. I was very unimpressed. He's making this on DVD if you guys want to go. Grab a copy. I'm sure it'll be available everywhere. Uh, make sure to go pick one up. Breast with a Tony Buck DVD. I did, didn't make a DVD. I mean, the TT clown that Mr. Uh, AJ fucking Good had, the self entitled fucking fairy snowflake. He's got in his hand a fucking masterpiece. He's got in his hand something that's fucking just totally. Just fucking awesome. Yeah, I totally agree, and I, I feel like I give very much props to Tony Buck for making that mask because it really did turn out fucking awesome, and if I didn't want it, I wouldn't keep it there. I feel like I gave Tony pretty good props, especially since I actually liked the mask. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't know where he's acting like I didn't give Tony good enough props on that mask. It was an awesome mask. I'm really happy with how the video turned out. I'm really happy with how the mask turned out. It's still down in my collection right now. I've tagged him every time I've posted it. What the fuck else do you want? Totally handmade. Do you know how many hours went into making that? Do you know how much fucking work went into producing that fucking mask that was sent to him for free? You know, you can get fucked, AJ Good. You're a fucking little cunt for talking the way you did about his mask. What? You're a fucking dog. <laughs> what did I say bad about his mask? I would really love to know what exactly I said bad about his mask. How dare you bring up anything that's fucking negative about the fucking mask at all? You don't like this, you don't like that, you don't like this, man. Fuck you, Tony. I mean, Tony did ask me to do a unboxing and a review video, and if anything, my constructive criticisms that were very politely delivered um, are going to do nothing but make him a better sculptor. Anyways. Also, the link for Tony Buck's fucking mask, it doesn't work. The I've already showed you guys that the links do, in fact, work. I actually talked to Tony about it before I started making this video, and he's had no problems with it, so... Link for Tony Buck's fucking advertising for his page does not work. You can't punch on it. It doesn't work, and you cannot punch on it. Now, I don't think that you could punch a link to a page because it's not a physical thing, but uh, that wasn't what I put it in there for anyway, so...
So I'm highly fucking offended that you could do that to that fucking artist. Because I reckon you got that mask for free. I did get it for free. And Tony loved the video and told me thank you. Um, actually, I got the screen cap right here. And if you got it for free, that makes you a cheap ass motherfucker. Then so I just want to get this straight before we continue. Um, Tyler stealing people's money and not giving them a product is fine. School is more important, you know. But me doing a service for somebody that gives me a mask, fucked up. I'm a cheap ass. Somebody that sends you a fucking mask is in crazy cunt. You don't make a fucker. That makes you a self-entitled little fucking maggot that just sits there complaining and bitching about shit that you don't make. Don't forget, cunt, you don't make anything. You don't produce anything. I make videos, photos, tattoos, drawings, merchandise. I don't make anything. All you do is fucking sit on a computer and bitch and fucking complain about cunts that fucking do make stuff. And to be honest, mate, I've had a fucking gut full of you. And anybody that sends you a fucking mask is in crazy. He's fucking insane. The so you're praising Tony Buck, bitching at me, and then calling Tony crazy because he sent me a mask? Then they need a fucking new brain. So I'm going to keep reminding people all the time about AJ fucking good. My camera keeps dying, so I got to do the rest of this from my fucking cell phone. Anyways. So anyway, guys... That's my little rant for the day. He says that's his little rant for the day, but we still have, uh... I don't know, we're not even halfway through yet. Just had a real gutful, you know, uh... The shocking behaviour by these people, though, the words they use against other artists, you know, judging their fucking art, sitting there pointing their fingers at shit. Um, you cunts don't make anything. You make no... I like how this guy's like bitching about people not making stuff and blah 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 blah. Like, you've been kicked out of every fucking Slipknot group I can think of because you recast people's work. All of your stuff is recast with really bad paint on it. It looks like you painted it with melted crowns. Uh, but they're recast nonetheless, so do you make anything? Nothing. You make fucking nothing, but you sit there talking your fucking shit about people that do. And, I, and I'm so glad I've got nothing to fucking do with you. So I really am. I'm fucking... I just want to sell to my friends list. You're on my friends list, then I'll fucking take care of you. Hey, if you want a shitty mask, just add this dude on your friends list, you'd be good to go. But um, the, the way you talked about Tony Buck's mask, his TT clown, is disgusting. I still don't know what exactly I said about Tony's mask and why this guy's so upset about it, but Tony was perfectly fine with it. You are fucking just, you offended fucking, I don't know how, you offended me, I know. So, this video is about snowflakes who get offended by everything, but you're offended by me reviewing someone's mask that wanted me to review their mask? Oh, you offended other people. Um, you're not offended because you've got a free mask. Um, not offended because there's nothing fucking wrong with what I said. But no, he deserves better. That mask deserves better. Tony Buck deserves better fucking treatment than what you've given him. Ron Sandball deserves better treatment than what you've given him. Certainly Tyler Holiday deserves fucking better treatment than what you've given him. Alright, here's a special. Since I apparently didn't please this guy enough when I reviewed your guys' masks, uh, just stop by the House of Masks anytime. Um, Tyler, Tony, Ron, I'm gonna suck your dicks. I'm gonna suck you dry because I apparently didn't treat you good enough when I made really nice videos about your things and plugged you and got you business. You're sitting there complaining about Tyler Holiday wearing his mask. You're fucking wearing it, you cunt. Yeah, he's a, ta he's a fucking talented ass dude. He's just a waste because he doesn't use his talent for good. He uses it to uh, trick people into giving him money. And you want to sit there telling everybody else how much of a bad cunt he is. And this, that and the other. And you want to do your talking, rah, rah. Because AJ Good needs views. AJ Good needs the fucking promotion and promote himself. I didn't start making money off of YouTube until like a couple months ago. So uh, when I made the video about Tyler a few years ago, it was just out of the good of my heart to try to stop people from getting ripped off. And, uh, mate, from an artist that actually makes shit, I'm fucking sick of you. 
and uh, I'll make sure that no cunt fucking never, you'll ever get a fucking mask of mine and fucking no cunt that I live will know that fucking Max Heming is going to send you fucking anything. I really, I mean, you're doing me a favor because if one of your masks showed up here, I don't even know how I would dispose of it. It would be something to do with like doing a burnout on it or pooping in it or some, I don't know, just something. Um, so anyway, that's my little gripe for the day. It wasn't as bad as the last time. Um, a little bit of garage art, so I'm going to be doing the ghost glow. I've got a quarry to do, and I've got heaps and heaps of moulds to get done. Aren't these recasts great? So you can all kiss my fucking ass. There's the fucking finger for you. Oh my god, he showed his middle finger on camera. He's fucking edgy. Fucking low cunts. Um, just really shocking how you fucking treated Tony Buck. I'm fucking just really pissed off with you cunts. I am just... If everybody could just go watch the Tony Buck Tattoo the Earth, I'm going to link it in the description. Please tell me where I fucked up, because uh, it's just a nice review video, I thought. I'm really, I like that video. I like the mask. So, um, anyway, Mr. Buck, if you, ever, if you ever watch this, dude, that is the most insane fucking clown that I've seen in fucking since Tyler Holiday. Uh, you put a lot of work into it, a lot of effort into that fucking mask. Um, just complete hats off to you, mate. You know what I mean? Fuck's sake. Yeah, what Charles Barker doesn't realize is as I'm watching this video, I'm also having a conversation on Facebook with Tony Buck about how fucking crazy this guy is, so it's awesome. So ironic. I love it. Uh, I wish I could afford you because I'd take you into the bedroom there and I'll show you my personal mask collections. Whoa, 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 whoa. You trying to pay this guy for sex? I'm pretty sure, let me rewind that. I'm pretty sure he just said that if he could afford Tony Buck, he's taking him to the bedroom. Like, uh, I wish I could afford you, because I'd take you into the bedroom there and I'll show you. Tony, you need to run far away. This man wants inside of you. Uh, he wants you in his bedroom and he wants to pay you, so you need to run and hide. My personal mask collections, um, which don't come out in the garage, they're in my personal room. Um, and he would be one that would sit on the, sit on the fucking, on the mantelpiece. Um, but anyway, man, I'm, I'm just, uh, really pissed off for you. I know you, you, you can't be pissed off, so I'll be pissed off for you. He can't be pissed off because there's nothing to be pissed off about. Because he's liable to make a fucking DVD on how you're a low cunt and all the rest of it, right? So, uh, you, you know, you, you, you be quiet, Mr. Buck, and I'll do all the fucking breaching for you, do you, right? Because <laughs> I'm already out of all that shit anyway. It doesn't matter at this point. So anyway, man, I hope you're all happy, you know, peace to all of you. Um, but anybody that fucking sends AJ Goodham, AJ Goodham free mask, uh, needs their head examined, but... Literally within 15 seconds, he went from praising Tony Buck, wanting to have sex with him, to saying that people that send me a free mask are fucking nuts, but the whole thing is about Tony Buck sending me a free mask, so do you want to fuck him or not? I, I just, do you want to fuck him or not? They don't know the bloke. They don't know him. They don't know him at all. I mean, try talking to him in, in a general fucking sense, you know, other than he wants a free mask. You know, contact him one day and just say hello and see how you go. See if there's a conversation the same way as when you were getting giving him a free mask. Yeah, hit me up. I uh, pretty much respond to everything. I mean, comments on YouTube videos or uh, Instagram aren't too much, but if you private message me, I'm likely to respond. Um, and believe it or not, I won't ask you for a free mask. It's uh, super strange. Because I guarantee you, cunt, you ain't getting, you ain't getting, you ain't gonna get it. You know, you you won't get that conversation. You don't give a fuck about anyone except getting a free mask. And uh... like, I was born to get free masks. My mask collection that was massive two years ago before anyone started sending me anything, even a year ago, um, I, those were all free. Every fucking one of them were free. Uh, I was born, put on this earth to receive free masks, and I don't even eat food. I uh, just live off of the power that free masks give me. It puts energy into my body, and uh, yeah, that's really all I'm concerned about is, is free masks. Um, that's fair enough. You know, you're advertising your site, rah, rah. But you want to do that? You want to get, accept things for free? Then you best have something good to say. All right, you want to sit your ass down, you want to make a DVD, you want to talk about other people's art. Then... I cannot get over this DVD thing. I just don't understand. I don't get it. And fucking do it properly. 
You know what I mean? Look at the fucking details. Look at the quality. Look at the fucking effort. Look at the work that's been involved in this. You said fucking nothing. You said fucking nothing, you low little cunt, because it's free. That's why. That's why the links are fucking don't work. Is the, the links work. The links work. I messaged Tony to ask him what links he wanted in the fucking description. Like, what, on what fucking planet are you? Because it's free. You don't give a fuck because it's free, man. You got it for nothing, you know? And, and the only reason you will care next time is when he makes another fucking mask that you want. And then you'll be all Mr. Nice Guy again and fucking talk rah rah. You're fucking so full of shit. The only reason you're in any rooms anywhere to do with mask making is because you want shit for free. I want to reiterate that Tony Buck is actively messaging me right now, telling me how much of a fucking kook this guy is. You want to put it in your fucking little mask collection for free. But where is all these masks, dude? Because they don't fucking change. In case you silly fucking maggot cunts haven't noticed, these shelves don't change. So where in the fuck are all these extra masks that he gets for free? What happens to them? They go on the shelves. You can, you can look at a picture from two months ago of my wall and see that it's completely different because I put new masks on it, but, um, okay. Where do the free masks go? The ones that don't end up on the shelf? Where do you think they go? Huh? He where do they go? I am so at a loss for words right now. Holy fuck. He sells them. He sells them on. He sells them, you idiots. I don't sell any gifts. I don't sell gifts. Um, not even the Mailbox Monday stuff. I don't fucking sell the gifts, so that's my one rule. There's a lot of people that can vouch for me that have tried to buy stuff. Um, ridiculous offers, even on the the Joey backup mask. I've gotten a lot of money offers for that, and I said, no, I don't sell gifts, so there's that. I mean, I was reading one of the comments where there was a young bloke in there said, I'm going to save my money and send you a, a free mask, Mr. Good. I mean, a free mask, AJ Good. And I wrote in, you're a fucking idiot. This guy will just sell your fucking mask. But that's, that's just the mentality that is on that website. Okay, so um, it's just, I, I, I don't deal with it. I go on there every now and again when I, you know, the holiday DVD and the Tony Buck DVD because uh, I'm a huge fan. Fucking always been a huge fan. Um, like ever since the guy made his first fucking mask, I was a huge fan. All right? So, uh, I mean, that was fucking years ago. Tony Buck, Mr. Buck, it's years ago, bro. Fucking, I don't know how long ago that was. But, um,. You know, that's how long ago my, my fanship has gone back. So my respect and courtesy and my fucking love for this man's art um, was not uh, shown in that DVD. It was not fucking shown. You didn't give him the respect. You didn't give him any courtesy. You give him fucking nothing. If you feel like I didn't give him the respect and courtesy and gratitude and whatever that that you would have given him, then maybe you should build a giant mask networking thing and you can review people's masks and say what you want about them because I'm pretty sure all I did was give him a nice video unboxing and reviewing his mask, showing it in detail and letting people know where they can get one. All you did is get a free fucking mask and a two minute fucking DVD. That's all I did. I mean, personally... Uh, he says it's a two minute DVD. There's two things wrong with that. It's uh, five minutes and that shows unboxing, reviewing, um, worn video, and then an unworn video on the shelf, and then an outro, and uh, I, it's also not on DVD, so there's two things wrong with that statement. Mate, you shouldn't get a fucking free mask of any kind, and uh, the man should ask for his mask back, because you ain't doing shit for him. All right, Mr. Good, you have a good day. You're a fucking dog. Self-entitled little fairy fucking snowflake dog who just wants shit for free. That is me. Have a good day. Peace. All right. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed that as much as I did because that's fucking hilarious. Um, if you can't see what's wrong in this picture with this guy, then I can't help you. Um, all I can do is, is show you guys proof and facts. Unlike this Charles Barker dude, I just thought this would be a funny video. And uh, I think it worked out really well because my mind is blown. I just feel like somebody's paying him to fuck with me. There's, I want to say there's no way that somebody's that stupid, but it, it is real. So, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you later.